Hey everybody, it's me. If you know anything about me, you know this is probably take number 746 of me just trying to get a message out. Whenever I write stuff down or have something prepared, <clears throat> I generally just say, you know what, Brandon, just go with what you know. So I want to talk about one part of my life right now, and it's my Masonic life. So I am a member of Enterprise Lodge Number 3, which is part of the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Maryland in its jurisdiction, where the Honorable Noel C. Osborne Sr. presides as our Grand Master. But on Saturday, June 17, 2023, this was our annual Family and Friends Day. And this was established so that the Brothers of Enterprise can just have a day where we don't have to work at an event, we don't have to do anything but just show up, relax, bring your family so they can get to know people. You just relax, it's just a nice cookout that we just find a location and we just be brothers. Well, <clears throat> this year, I'm gonna say this, it was a good event, it was an outstanding event, and the brothers, they did something special for me that I really didn't see coming. Now, let me give you a little backstory. Currently, the worship master is Brian Hance, who was my CEO warden slash second in um, command when I set his worshipful master. Man, I could probably talk for another five or 10 minutes about our dynamic, but I can tell you, we build a bond that you wouldn't expect be, brought, be built, but we built this bond that it's, it's different. It's definitely, he can call me at any time. I could call him at any time. If I haven't made a decision, I made sure he was involved. We were a good team. So when he transitioned to Worship Master, in my mind, I'm like, I need to make sure I'm there for him because he was there for me. You know, even if it's just taking a phone call, letting them vent, if it's just, hey, which way do you do this? Do you have this form? What do I do with that? You know, because even though I was his Worship Master, it's things that I took for granted that he may know. I promise you, I'm getting to. I'm gonna get back to Saturday, but I just gotta rant a little bit. Um, but Hans, all around, just a good guy. And his time as worshipful master, and everybody knows when you are the head of any like chapter or entity or anything, you're always looked at as the figurehead. You are called on to do so much work, and it's nice just to have somebody in your corner. So I wanted to make sure I was that person in his corner <clears throat> because that's what I thought I had to do. That's what I thought that we do as Masons. We are there for our brothers. And I try my best to be there, whether it's Red House, Purple House, Knights Templar, Shrine, Iota, Wrestling, you name it. My step team that I teach, the, no matter what I do, I try to make sure I'm there. And sometimes I do spread myself too thin, but that comes with the territory because I it's hard for me to say no. So on Saturday, June 17th, uh, the Worshipful Master Brian Hans has given out kind of like um, tokens of his appreciation for people helping him out. And he had mentioned to me, he was like, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. How you feel about this? You know, I could hear the passion. I said, yeah, if that's what you want to do. He said, yeah, I want to keep the tradition going that you started. I'm like, make it your own, Hatch. You don't have to do what I did. You know, make it your own. But he did. He got some drawstring bags, put some tokens in there. He put books in there, different shirts. It was a really nice presentation for the brothers, and it was like, wow, this is this is nice. Um, and seeing the brothers react, because it was a pleasant surprise. 
So then he gets through everybody. He gets through a senior warden. He gets through a past master. Then he says, you know, the last thing I want to do. And of course, he puts me on the spot. Anybody that knows me know I really don't look for a lot of pomp and circumstance. I don't look for a lot of trophies. I want people to know my work based upon my work. I want people to know that I don't ever need somebody to know that I was sitting at the hospital with you while you're recovering. Because to me, it's important to know that I was there for you. You know, even when I was in the hospital and seeing my cable toe come through the door and he had pneumonia, but he said he had to come check on me. That's what we do as brothers. And sometimes we lose sight of that. So I've always tried to do the best that a brother could do. So when he called me up there, he said, you know, I had to do something special for you. He, in a nutshell, how people say, we want to give you your flowers now. And I was totally left field. Didn't know that he was going to do this grand gesture. He did this whole speech and you could tell it was from his heart, his heart. And he said, I want you to open this. You got to open it in front of me. And when I tell you, I was completely shocked and awe. And this is going to dive into my personal life a little bit. I wouldn't care if somebody spent $1 on me because if it's the thought that counts, that's the part that always gets me. It's the thought. I don't care the dollar amount. I care about the thought. You could literally bring me an iced tea and say, hey, this is your favorite iced tea. I know that you had it. I'm probably going to be indebted to you. I'm going to probably be the happiest person at that moment. And... He handed me a box and said, you got to open it in front of us. And I got some pictures I'm going to show you from the event, but I also want to show you some actual pictures because I couldn't do it any justice holding it up in front of you. So I want to be able to show it to you. So I just want you to see, let's take a look at the gift that I received and you'll see my reaction on that day. So now it probably makes sense why I was sitting in front of my wrestling belts. It probably makes sense why I started championship culture with the help of some of my good brothers. It probably makes sense why I try to do certain things I do. It's not because I wasn't expecting that at all. I was just doing what I thought I needed to do. But seeing the fact that somebody took time to know what I enjoy, what I like, where our passion lies outside of being a good brother, that spoke volumes to me. I can't thank them enough. And I know it was some other brothers involved and I know they probably don't want to be embarrassed, but I can tell you that, you know, I really appreciate Brian Hans and Ivan Henson. You brothers definitely, definitely, definitely surprised me. And Sorry about the long video, but it was definitely needed. So I just want to tell you, thank you again. I don't know if the word thank you will ever express what it means. And I know you gave me a challenge, words from Master Hans. I'm trying to figure out the logistics of doing it because if I do do it, I'm probably going to, have to go live so people can see what I have to do with this belt. So I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's crazy because now I always say every belt has a story. This belt definitely has a story. I appreciate it. Till next time.